Hello dear friends, you all welcome back to Mr. Professor YouTube channel and uh, from this video we are going to uh, continue uh, the series uh, for CSR net physics and uh, we are going to discussing the previous year examples okay, topic wise and uh, we have all the 10 subjects regarding the CSR net physics and uh, we are starting uh, with the mathematical physics after mathematical physics uh, uh, we came up with the quantum mechanics statistical and after that the classical okay as far as possible i will do for you and in that uh, subject uh, if you consider the mathematical physics okay there are the lots of uh, content regarding the mathematical physics but i am going to discussing the previous year examples from important topics of the mathematical physics not i am going to discussing the all the mathematical physics topics and all the previous year questions okay important topics from the mathematical physics and from that important topics i am going to discussing the important previous year examples okay and this is the first video uh, for a csr net physics uh, subject mathematical physics and we are going to discussing the previous year examples okay uh, so we are starting with the first example now you can see uh, this is the uh, example from net june 2013 okay this is the first example uh, this is the first example uh, from net june june 2013 okay now see solution first of all uh, read the question carefully and what they have given and what we have to find clear okay now see the solution of the differential equation okay they have given us uh, this uh, differential equation clear okay uh, with the initial conditions okay will blow blow up means solution will be tend okay solution is tending to infinity okay you should know what is the meaning of blow up blow up means okay uh, from this uh, from this uh, given differential equation you are going to uh, you can find the uh, solution easily okay and that solution uh, came up with the x independent uh, variable okay then at what value of t the solution is tending to infinity clear clear cut you should have a clear understanding of this question what they are asking to find okay blow up means that uh, the solution is tending to infinity but at what value clear okay now see i'm going to uh, write the given data uh, dx by uh, dt equals to x square and this is our uh, given differential equation and from this uh, given differential equation first of all we have to find the solution then from the given conditions okay they have given us a uh, initial conditions from that initial conditions we are going to find the constant values and then by putting that constant values we are going to find the solution clear now you can see uh, the given differential e equation is very simple okay just to separate the variable now see on the left hand side dx okay uh, we have the variable x square therefore x square and shifting dt on the right hand side okay just i have shifted x square on the left hand side and dt on the right hand side because i am i have done the variables separable now see x square i can write x square minus 2 into dx equals to dt okay the second step will be variable get separate now the step is just integration on the both hand side plus c clear now see now using the general formula for the uh, integral x power n dx is nothing but x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 now using in case of in terms of n you have minus 2 just use that therefore x power minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1 therefore integral dt is nothing but t and constant c is added therefore x power minus 1 and in the de denominator you have minus 1 equals to t plus c okay just rearrange it now see 
therefore i can write minus 1 divided by x equals to t plus c okay now see <coughs> i am shifting a minus sign on the right hand side therefore 1 by x equals to uh, minus of okay t plus c okay now just a reciprocal this term by reciprocaling you get x equals to minus 1 divided by t plus c this is your final solution clear now see they have uh, given us the initial condition that is x of 0 is equals to 1 they have given at t equals to 0 you have the value of x equals to 1 clear now by uh, using this boundary condition find out the value of c clear therefore uh, put the value of at t equals to 0 you have x equals to 1 they have given us therefore x equals to 1 is equals to minus 1 of 1 uh, what is the value of t t is nothing but 0 0 plus c therefore 1 equals to minus 1 divided by c okay therefore now shifting uh, c on the left hand side you get the value of c c equals to minus 1 okay now put this value of c in this your solution therefore therefore solution becomes x equals to minus 1 divided by what is the value of uh, t is nothing but t plus c c is nothing but minus 1 okay you have this equation x equals to minus 1 divided by t minus 1 okay now see what you have x equals to minus 1 divided by t minus 1 clear now see now observe the options now see at what value of t what are they what they are asking what is the <coughs> what is the hmm, for what value of t okay they are asking for what value of t the solution is tending to infinity okay now you can clearly observe if i put a t equals to 1 in the above equation therefore x equals to becomes minus 1 divided by t is nothing <coughs> t is nothing but 1 1 minus 1 therefore x equals to minus 1 divided by 0 and something divided by 0 is nothing but infinity that means at t tends to 1 solution tendings to infinity okay you can see the option a is present therefore option b c and d gate cancel clear okay and this is the solution now see the second question the this question uh, is from net june 2017 net june 2017 now see what is the question what they have given and what you have to find just a struggle yourself you will get your solution now see what they have given the function y of x satisfied the differential equation okay no problem okay if y of 1 equals to 1 the value of y of 2 is how many okay they have given us a clear cut a differential equation and first of all our aim is to find from that differential equation find the solution for the differential equation then by using the given initial conditions find out the value of y clear okay now see therefore x into dy by dx plus 2 times y is equals to cos of pi x divided by x okay if i compare uh, this differential equation with the linear differential equation standard form that is dy by dx plus p of x into y equals to q of x okay you should have dy by dx and function in x into y equals to function in x okay uh, on the right hand side you can see clear cut there is a function in x okay and there is a, <coughs> a function in x uh, here should be function in x or constant okay here should be function in x or constant okay uh, both uh, if there is a presence of function in x otherwise constant okay but you can uh, while comparing uh, this given differential equation uh, with the standard form of uh, linear differential equation okay you can clearly see uh, this term is uh, no needed to here so we are going to dividing the given differential equation by x therefore the given differential equation becomes dy by dx plus 
2 divided by x into y is equals to cos of pi x divided by x square. What I did just divide the given differential equation by x. Okay, now you can compare with this general form, you will get a p of x, p of x is nothing but 2 divided by x and this is your on the right hand side q of x therefore q of x is nothing but cos of pi x divided by x square clear now see uh, for the linear differential equation while solving the linear differential equation we have to firstly find the integrating factor integrating factor is nothing but e power okay exponential power p of x into dx therefore e power integral what is p of x 2 divided by x into dx now see 2 is constant okay therefore e power i am taking constant on the outside of the integral therefore 1 by x into dx remains therefore exponential power 2 what is the formula for 1 by x into dx that is nothing but the log x therefore log x clear now see now i am going to use the logarithmic rule therefore a into log of b i can write log of b power a okay now see if i compare with this with the standard log logarithmic rule that is 2 log of x i can write log of x power square therefore e power log of x square okay and here you can see easily exponential and uh, log are getting cancelled what remains x square this is your integrating factor okay uh, now you can observe that why i did uh, that uh, why i did that logarithmic rule because the exponential and log get cancelled and uh, the remaining term is just x square okay now you got the integrating factor now with this integrating factor the further solution you can get now see the solution for uh, while getting the integrating factor what is the solution that is y into integrating factor is equals to integral q of x into integrating factor dx plus c this is the standard solution format uh, for the given linear differential equation now see therefore y what is integrating factor x square is equal to what is q of x we have a q of x is nothing but cos of pi x divided by x square this is your q of x therefore cos of pi x divided by x square integrating factor is x square dx plus c. you can clearly see x square x square get cancelled what remains on the left hand side uh, we have y into x square what is the integral of cos pi x that is nothing but the sine of pi x divided by pi plus c and this is your final solution and now the situation is now you have to use the given initial conditions they have given the two initial conditions y of 1 equals to 1 it means that at x equals to 1 you have value of y is nothing but 1 and they are asking to find y of 2 is how many it means at x equals to 2 what is the value of y this is this will be the our final solution now see i am going to um, use the first boundary condition to find out the value of c okay x equals to 1 y equals to 1 put the values of x and y therefore 1 into 1 square equals to sine of pi what is value of x 1 therefore divided by pi plus c on the right hand on the left hand side 1 into 1 square is nothing but 1 sine pi sine pi is nothing but 0 therefore 0 divided by something pi plus c therefore 1 0 divided by something again 0 plus c therefore c becomes 1 now put this value of c in this equation therefore y into x square equals to sine of pi x divided by pi plus c is how many 1 okay now they are asking to find at x equals to 2 how many y therefore y x equals to 2 2 square equals to sine of 2 pi divided by pi plus 1 
okay and you, as you know sin n pi is 0 okay you should know you should know that is the sign of n pi is 0 okay so therefore sin 2 pi becomes a 0 0 divided by pi plus 1 clear y into a 2 square is nothing but 4 therefore y into 4 is equals to 1 therefore y equals to 1 by 4 and this is your final solution now check the options there is uh, there should be the presence of y equals to 1 by 4 y equals to 1 by 4 you can clearly see d option is present therefore a b c option will get cancelled okay uh, like in this way we are going to discuss the previous years okay we have started with the mathematical physics and in that mathematical physics i will uh, go through the all the important topics from the mathematical physics and the previous year examples okay if you, if you have any doubts regarding this previous year examples you can put your comment on the comment box so thank you for watching see you in the next video